Welcome. Ladies and gentlemen, I never thought I'd be the kind of person who'd actually say this, but... Can you get me back to normal? I think I want normal back. I mean, aren't you tired of walking around like you're a band brother? Or like you're one of those vicious dogs that bites strangers? You know, I don't want to be a mess of my public. Darling, look at these looks. Look at this visage. You can't mess with the Versace, a beat face, and you have the goddamn mask on. Now, people can say back to Nyron, people can say, hey, Hydro Power Queen, people can say Johnson and Johnson, Pfizer, RNA, MD, RNA, MD, NA. I don't care. Only thing I'm taking is the one that's from Russia. Because everything else is just pure capitalism. I mean, think about it. Would you trust the pharmaceutical companies after they've had an opioid crisis that's lasted 20 years? Hmm? Then you would actually think of like, oh, no, 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 let's go with the U.S. like pharmaceutical companies. Hmm. It's like, oh, it's like, it's like going back every time and saying, no. There were WMDs, weapons of mass destruction in Iraq. No, they weren't. Darling, things are changing. As you can see, I have my Chinese colors on, just in case, because I can tell you one thing that was a read. Okay, that was a read. Okay, listen here. That Secretary of State of America was read for filth. Is all I'm gonna say. You just do not arrive at a diplomatic meeting throwing shit because you are going to be fetched. Because, <laughs> honey, that buffoon, blinik, blonik, Secretary of State of the United States <laughs> was coming for China. By China, fetched him. Straight up. No joke. All I want to know is why South Africa is not actually producing its own vaccine. I mean, we have the people power station, which means that you know we are capable of actually producing pharmaceuticals, and we actually do produce pharmaceuticals. So why are we not creating our own vaccine, or at least getting the license from Russia for Sputnik V and taking it? You understand? I mean, I'm not express and then Oxford you don't only want, want, want because <laughs> the data and the statistics and the, and the results for Express and then changes weekly. Okay. That should tell you something. It should tell you something the fact that every single second week or third week or every month, we seem to be changing the policy on this buffoonery. That's what I'm going to call it. Because I do not want to be removed. From the platforms, yeah, but I don't think they think, you know, I don't think they think much of South Africa in any case because I've been dropping all kinds of bombs, they've been dropping all kinds of bombs on their Facebook and I'm on like Twitter and nobody's been removed, and no one's been cancelled, not at all. Ah. <laughs> Darling, if Netflix is making money here, things are desperate in the United States, I'm telling you. Seriously, but I'm glad they are. <laughs> anyway, just a bit of water, water, fish, but to tell you, Plum Stanchel Studios is now officially open. So we are going to be doing a little bit more videos and spending this much time on the beach. Yes, yes, God, God, yes, 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 Queen. Yes. Here to stay, honey. She never went away. Oh, hi. Oh, hi. Yes, you can call her mama. But look at her there. Charlie, look, look. This man is representing. And she's coming for all of you bitches, okay? All of you. All of you. I will come and fetch you like China did at that meeting in Anchorage, Alaska. Yes. Mm hmm Let's go to vlog. Let's go thinking. Yes, honey. Yes. 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 I'm trending. I'm trending. I'm trending on Twitter. Alaska. No bitch. Encourage.
Macho. <laughs> anyway, ladies and gentlemen, it looks like you know I'm liking this new dog situation sounds because it matches the light. Yeah, boy, yeah, boy, yeah, boy, yeah, boy, golden. Everything is just golden, golden, golden. You know, because where does gold come from? South Africa. Yes, ladies and gentlemen. You know, you walk around London, you wonder what the fuck are the golden statues everywhere in the city of London, and you see golden red dragons, see, and you're like, no, honey, no, no, no. Are you trying to tell me that Lord of the Rings is actually based in South Africa? Or was it the Hobbit? Because when I look at that city of London, you know, the red dragon sitting on all the gold, and I'm just thinking, ding, 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 you know, yeah, talking there was blown in bullfinty. Okay, no, Bethlehem, even better. Because that's biblical. He was actually born in Bethlehem, or just outside Bethlehem, just before the turn of the century, by the way. Mm -hmm. So maybe it is the story of how capitalism and desert revolution and the city of London. The red dragon called Smoke, yeah, one. Robbed. As hobbit people. But anyway, we are not helping ourselves right now. Mm -mm. No, we are not. What did you go on for money from the National Art Council? Let's not. I got paid my first tranche. You know what happened afterwards? All I know now is just here, Robbery.